Day by day, One Piece card game becomes more and more popular. First anniversary expansion, OPO5 Awakening of the New Era, is just around the corner. Players in the West are eager to play the game. Because of that, we see the same questions asked on the social media daily. How do I start playing? Which starter deck to buy? How to play online? Where to buy cards? And that's why. I made this video for you. Hi, Casual Raccoon here and today I'm going to help you start playing One Piece card game. We are going to proceed step by step, assuming you have zero trading card game knowledge. I will try to keep this guide as budget friendly as possible. Without further ado, give me your hand and let's begin. As most of the products nowadays, One Piece card game has an official website. By the way, all links that I will mention you can find in this video description. All relevant information about One Piece card game you can find on this website. It might be a little overwhelming, but we are just starting, so let's choose for beginners. The first thing we can see are two videos, release trailer and tutorial video. For more you can watch if you want to get hyped for the game, but I would like to focus on the latter. As with every new skill in life, we must learn how to walk before we can run. That's why please watch the tutorial video. It will give you the general idea of the game flow and some basic information based on which you can decide if you want to dive deeper into One Piece card game. Okay, we watched the video, we are interested in trying out the game, but what now? If you like some fluff and trivia, you can read all the rest from For Beginner page. What's important to me is that you scroll down until you see the app. It's our next stop in our journey to start playing One Piece card game. You can download it from Google Play or Apple Store. They also recently released browser version. So please play the teaching app. It will help you to learn the basics and even play the real game against AI. If you want, I invite you to experience teaching app with me now. Okay, let's start tutorial mode one. Begin, yes. Okay, introduce us to basic rules of the game, your turn. We start with the refresh phase, so return all dawn cards attached to cards on your field to your cost area and set all rested cards on your field as active. You cannot do anything else during this phase, so basically, like in any card game, start of the turn we untap everything. During the draw phase, draw one card from your deck and add it to your hand. True. We drew Zoro. During the dawn phase, draw two cards from the top of your dawn deck and place them in your cost area face up. True. Our mana. Um, you can take various actions during the main phase, including playing a card, using a card's effect and attacking. Let's start by playing Zoro from your hand. To play a card, you will need to pay its cost. So we see the cost here and dawn. Is basically our mana or our lands, depending if you played any other game before. Take Zoro from your hand and place the card in your character area. Pay Zoro's cost of 3 to play the card. A card cannot attack on the turn it's played, so if you played magic, summoning sickness. Mm. So we play Zoro, we pay it 3 dawn by resting them or tapping. Now let's try attacking your opponent to attack. You will rest one of your upright active cards by turning it sideways. Let's rest your leader card, Luffy, and declare your attack. We are reproducing fight with Kaido from Vano. You can choose to attack your opponent's leader or one of the rested character cards, so it's important. You can always attack opponent's leader, but uh, if you want to attack a character, it must be rested. Your opponent doesn't have any rested character cards at the moment, so let's attack their leader. So yeah, we played Zoro, we cannot attack with Zoro. Drake is standing, so cannot be target of the attack. So we attack with our Luffy into opponent's leader and let's see what's up. Use even cards and character cards to power up your leader. Your opponent has used the counter step to increase the leader's power. During the counter step, a player can increase their card's power by using an even card or a character card from their hand. So basically, what you can see here on a Nami card is counter plus 1000. Our uh, leader had 5000 power, then declare attack on 5000 power uh, opponent's leader, 
so they counter 1k, opponent's leader is now 6000 power and our attack fails, as you can see here. Yes, your opponent was able to defend their card against your attack by increasing its power. Simple stuff. Um, most of the character cards have either plus 1000 counter or plus, uh, plus 2000 power counter. Let's use a Dawn card to strengthen one of your character cards by giving an active Dawn card in your cost area to a leader or character. You can increase their power during your turn by 1000 per Dawn card. Try giving a Dawn card to Vivi. So you can see here is in <laughs> Japanese, but normally it stays uh, your turn plus 1000 power. So what's interesting in One Piece card game, we can use our mana or our lands um, to pay the cost of the characters, but if you want to attack with a character that has, for example, 4000 power, we can take one Dawn that uh, is not rested, is standing and attach it to the character and it should be now 5000 power. Next up, let's use your leader's effect. This effect allows you to give one rested Dawn card to your leader or a character. Let's give one Dawn card to Vivi. So, yes, a little bit overwhelming at start, I think, for a tutorial, but uh, our leaders have skills as well. So you can see we have zero Dawn cards that are standing up. All of them are rested. But if we use a skill, you can see, activate main once per turn, give this leader or one of your characters one rested Dawn card. So we can use one of three that are rested. We use the skill. Take the rested card. Um, yeah, I would like to give it to Vivi. Okay, it goes automatically. Mm, yeah, Vivi's power is now 6000 power, so let's try attacking your opponent's character uh, leader. Yeah, character is standing, so we can target only the leader. So we attack Kaido. 6000 power, so if they want to counter it, they need to use 2k counter, but they take the damage. Your opponent didn't do anything during the counter step, so Vivi won this time and your opponent's life has decreased by one. The lost life card is added to your opponent's hand. So this is a very interesting resource. Um, when they take the life, they uh, are closer to lose the game, but also they have some um, coming back me mechanic because they take resource into hand that they can use. That's the end of your turn. Remember, any Dawn cards you give to cards will only increase their power during your turn. Yeah, so what we said here in Japanese, normally when you buy English card, you will see your turn plus 1000 power. Um, to rent? Yeah. Okay. Not that intuitive for a new player, I think. Um, okay, let's use the counter step to increase Vivi's power. Your blue card can increase a card's power by 2000, so let's use that card. So we see, attack from Drake, 5000, into Vivi. So to uh, overcome it, we need 2k uh, counter, but we cannot really see it here. You can use a character's counter without any cost, just be careful. You don't use too many of them or you will round out of cards. So I, as, as they shown uh, previously, when you use counter as your character card, you need to uh, trash it, discard it. So we have counter step. We see Brooke has 2000 uh, counter, Robin only 1000. So we would like to counter the attack 2000 and Vivi leaves. Now Kaido is pissed. <laughs> Let's not use a counter card this time and let Vivi get KO'd. KO'd cards are trashed and any Dawn cards given to them are rested and returned to your cost area. This is really important. It's not like in Pokemon, for example, where mm, our energy uh, cards would go to the, to the trash as well. Here, our mana, lands, energy is coming back into uh, cost area. So yeah, 9000 power. We cannot counter or do anything pass and Vivi gets knocked out, goes into trash and you see Dawn cards go, uh, come back to, to cost area. To win the game you need to attack your opponent's leader when your opponent has zero life remaining. You are almost there. So as opposed in for example Pokemon where we are taking the prize cards, here the cards on the side of the board are the life. So let's see, let's give an active Dawn card to Zoro, 
the Dawn card increased Zoro's power by 1000, so now it's 7000 power. And this is something that uh, some new players don't really know about this card. It's 5000 power, we are attaching Dawn to him. So it's plus 1000, but additionally we have an ability, an effect, that when Dawn is attached to Zoro, he gets another 1000 power. And this is for both players' turn, because there is no requirement that it's only uh, our main turn. Try using Zoro to attack your opponent's leader. And we see there is no life or one life. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, they say attack leader, we attack leader. 7000, they use counter event, 4000 power counter, so our attack fails. Your opponent used an even card during their counter step. The card has a powerful effect, which is used by returning Dawn cards to your Dawn deck. So not only he had to pay the cost, but also additional cost that was returning the Dawn card to the Dawn deck. You can give multiply active Dawn cards to a card. Let's give any remaining Dawn cards to your leader Luffy and then attack. Sure. Let's power up our Luffy. So I guess our opponent has no life. We can also use this skill. No, we don't have any rested one. Okay. And then we attack Kaido. 10,000. So no way that he's able to counter anything just with two cards. And he is done. Your opponent can defend against Luffy's attack. So Luffy wins. Your opponent has zero life remaining. So you've won the game. So yes, this is the win condition. When your opponent is at zero life cards, you still need to connect one more attack to defeat them. Really important. And clear. Okay, tutorial mode one complete. Tutorial mode two. Begin. What are we going to learn now? Your hand isn't very good this time. In this game you can redraw your hand one time. Give it a go. So basically, if you play it in the other games, it's a mulligan. So battling first, redraw your hand. Yes, because everything is very expensive. Much better. Now that's a much better hand. Okay, two life, one life. Let's start the tutorial. Tutorial mode 2 introduces you to some of the more detailed rules of the game. I mean, the first one was already a little bit in the middle. The player going first can't draw a card on their first turn. Okay. Neither player can attack on their first turn. Really important. During the dawn phase, you add two dawn cards to your cost area. The player going first adds only one card on their first turn. So, um, two important things. If we are going first, we don't draw a card and um, we only get one dawn card, one our mana land, whatever. And neither of us can attack on the first turn. Let's play chopper from your hand. Sure, we start, no draw, just one dawn, uh, one cost for the chopper. We play a chopper. So cute. Since you can't use your leader attack on your first turn, Let's end your turn. Sure. So we pass our turn. Now Kaido, he will draw normally one card here, two Don cards. And even though they play the character, still leader cannot attack because for them it's a first turn. Play Thousand Sunny. Um, yeah. Now let's play Thousand Sunny from your hand. Stage cards are played by placing them on your field. While they are on your field, you can activate their effects. So this is really important, might be a little bit confusing at start. Characters cannot attack, but when we play, uh, for example, a stage card that you can treat like artifact from um, Magic the Gathering, for example, you can use it immediately. Why don't we use Thousand Sunny's effect on your leader Luffy? Thousand Sunny can increase your leader's or one of your character's power by 1000 during this turn. So you see, we can immediately use the skill, activate main, you may rest this stage, so we must do it if you want to use the ability because it's before the, the colon here. 
and uh, it's important because it's your whole cost. So condition, activate main and rest this stage. One straw hat crew type leader or character, card on your field, gains plus 1000 power during this turn. Sure. And we would like to target Luffy. Because chopper is small. <laughs> Next up, let's use leader Luffy's effect. Give one of your rested dawn cards to your leader Luffy. So again, wording is important if we can use the skill on leader or character. Because characters here are characters, or rather cards. And here we have our leader. So skill, and you see again condition, activate main, and only once per turn. Give this leader or one of your characters one rested dawn card, and we want to power up our leader, we choose leader, Don boom. Okay, now try attacking your opponent's Kaido with your powered up Luffy. So as we learned previously, character is standing, so we cannot attack it, but we can attack leader always. 7k attack. And your opponent use counter effect from their hand, Jin Ramis. Uh, by thrashing a counter card from their hand, a player can increase their card's power during that battle. Your opponent's Kaido has gained an extra 1000 power for this battle, so the card's power is now 6000, but it's still not enough to counter him. So they use another one. Your opponent has gone on to use Ulti's counter effect from their hand. Their Kaido has gained an additional 2000 power, because Ulti has a 2000 power uh, counter value, uh, Jin Rami was only 1000 for this battle, so their power is 8000. Your attack failed this time. Let's end this turn. So even though we have one open, we finish the turn, because you see we have some event card in hand. Maybe we want to counter some attacks. They play Jack. Activate your on play effect. Jack's on play effect can be activated by paying the cost, so we can see on play and you may trash one card from your hand. But if you want to activate this, you must do it. Your opponent has trashed one ship, uh, ship's head card from their hand and activated their Jack's on play effect. They've gained one Dawn card. Sure. So getting some more uh, mana. Your opponent used ship's head to attack Luffy. You are about to take some damage. You could use the blocker effect of your chopper in your battle area, but let's try using a counter to protect Luffy this turn. Okay, counter, what do we want to use? Let's try using an event, okay, so that's why we left our dawn up. We've counter guard point. When your opponent attacks, you can play this card by paying its cost. So what's important here, when we see in the condition counter, we can only use the card for countering in the countering step. This card's effect increase one of your card's power by 3000 for this battle. Let's use this effect on leader Luffy. If you increase Luffy's power to 8000, you will be able to defend against ship's head attack. Sure. But is it really worth? According to tutorial, yes. So counter, your leader or one of your characters gain 3000 power during the battle. We target Luffy. And we guard the attack, nothing happens. Um, Kaido was able to attack Luffy this time. Let's not use a blocker instead, let's defend Luffy again with a counter. So this time we have only 5000 power attack, so we just need to use one K counter. Let's activate Robin's counter effect from your hand. Luffy is now more powerful than Kaido, so can defend against the attack. So again, we just show our opponent that we have a counter, we must trash it, now 6000, 5000 into 6000, nothing happens. Let's play Sanji from your hand, ah, just like that, okay, why not? We play Sanji, now let's give two Dawn cards to Sanji, once you do that, you will be able to activate Sanji's Rush. Rush allows a card to attack on the turn it's played, so here Rush, in magic it would be um, Haste, uh, for comparison, and um, unfortunately I cannot show the card, but there is um, two don't attach, this character gains rush. So we attach one, we attach two, and now we have rush. 
as you can see. Go on and use Sanji to attack. And we want to attack Leader Shu. So 6000 into 5000, they take the damage. And they activated the trigger, so you see some of the cards have the trigger effect here on the bottom. You deal some damage to Kaido. What's this? It looks like your opponent has a trigger. When you take damage, if a card with trigger is added to your hand, you can activate that effect without paying any cost. So you see trigger, add one dawn card from your dawn deck and set it as active. So again, some ramping, getting some more dawn. Your opponent has used their Braccio Bomber trigger effect to gain one dawn card. So we have some <laughs> queen action from Vano. Um, let's use your Thousand Sunnies effect on Leader Luffy again. Sure. So the same as previous turn, we are targeting our leader to buff him, rest the stage. Then let's activate Leader Luffy's effect and give Luffy one dawn card. Okay, we activate again on ourselves. Now it's time to attack Kaido with your powered up Luffy. It's interesting, we are keeping one down, sure. And we push 7000. No counters. But trigger again. Okay, so they get another done. Next up, play Chopper from your hand, so a little bit defensive here. We used all our dons. There's nothing else you can do, so let's finish up your turn. Okay, finish. And now you see, refresh. They all uh, standing back up uh, on, the, on the refresh phase, then draw two dons and then play the queen. Queen has a really has a really powerful blocker, I think is, but whatever. This isn't looking good. Queen's on play effect can be activated by paying the cost. Your opponent returned one dawn card to their dawn deck and activated Queen's on play effect. They've drawn two cards and trashed one card. Really strong. And we can see it because Queen is really expensive now to buy, but it's a different topic. Um, let's try using Chopper's blocker effect. So you can see when they attack, we can declare blocker by resting our character and we defend our leader. When one of your cards is attacked, you can use a blocker to have the blocker card battle instead. Let's make Chopper battle Sheep's Head instead of your leader Luffy. It's not really battle because even if we have more power, we don't do anything to, to Sheep's Head. When, when you block, you just block the, the new target for attack. It's not a battle. Time to activate that ability. So yeah, sure. Block. We must uh, rest the character. And we are doing the block. Our character has lower power, so is KO'd. But even if our uh, character would be higher, let's say 7000 power, uh, then nothing happens. It's not the battle in a sense like, you know, from, let's say, Magic the Gathering. They don't battle, it's just um, attack. Let's activate another chopper's blocker. So again, we block. Lower power, KO. Yes. You don't have a counter card in your hand, so you will just have to take the damage. Yep, unfortunately. Um, yeah, pass. 5000. And we take Luffy from life, no trigger. You got a great card. Let's launch a counter attack. And you see, end of turn. Even though they have Don's attached, the power goes back because Don is only your turn. Uh, another thing that new players sometimes don't read correctly. Go on and play the Luffy you just drew. Sure, we have seven Don. We play Luffy. And now let's give character Luffy two Don cards. When Luffy has two Don cards, your opponent can't use blocker against the attack from Luffy. So you see, no life, we try to push for the game here, like um, tutorial set, we attach two Don cards into Luffy, now effect is active, Luffy has uh, is unblockable. Next up, let's use our Thousand Sunnies effect to increase character's Luffy power, so we are really pushing for the game. We just power up our unblockable character. And we could have used the leader skill as well because we have some rested on, but yeah, regardless. Um, we turn, ah, okay. 
uh, if I wander it a bit too fast. So, then let's activate Luffy's leader effect uh, and give another dawn. Now, character Luffy's power is at 10,000. So, sure. Activate the skill. Target. Alright, attack Kaido with character Luffy. So, even though they have a blocker, we have character with rush. That is unblockable. So, you go into Kaido, 10,000 power attack. And now let's see if they can counter. And it seems that actually they can, or... Ah, it's not enough, so we win. Because um, to counter they need more power. Your opponent's Kaido has 10,000 power. When your power is equal, so like our Luffy was 10,000, the attacking side wins. That means Luffy's won the battle and since your opponent has zero life, you've won the game. So again, we had uh, zero life on opponent side. It's not enough. You need to connect one more attack. So 10,000 into 10,000 wins because blocking side always need to have at least a little bit more power. Normally it would be 1,000 more. So 11,000 in this uh, case would be enough. But when it's equal, we connect the attack and win. Clear. Okay, next. Straw Hat Crew Battle. So let's see. Select opposing deck. Nothing to select. Confirm. Ah, okay, so we can check the list and some details. Okay, if you know, if you want to know your cards. Pretty cool. Go back and we can check opponent's deck as well. Cool. Start battle. Battle start. Tap and hold a card to read more about it. Get a handle of cards. Get a handle on card effect to gain the upper hand in battle. Sure. Uh, battling first. Redraw your hand. What do we have? We have Nami. We have Vivi. We can go, go. Boom, boom. It's okay. <coughs> It's enough. Your turn. Draw down. No draw card, but we can play Nami. And Nami has an important skill. Uh, activate main. One, once per turn, we can give one rested down cards to leader or character. So to keep it in mind, cancel for now. We cannot attack because it's our first turn. Pass. Then Kaido. Two dawn. Play a blocker. Black Maria and cannot attack as well. Now it's important turn for us. Mm, we have freedom. We can play, for example, Robin here. And it's important. Um, can I show you? Yeah, okay. So Robin has 1000 uh, counter power and 5000 attack. So she can attack without any additional dons. On the opposite, uh, opposite side, for two dons, we can play Brook with strong on play effect. That is 2k counter, so I would like to keep him in hand. And normally I don't play the character first. But in this case we have two characters that have really strong skill. So we attach one rested down to Luffy, then another one. And we push 7k into 5k. And they have 5 life, so like the normal game. And they use the blocker, sure. And we have the board clear. And this is our turn end. What do we have here? What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cannot activate. Yeah, okay, not so strong. 5000, and uh, because we don't have any interesting cards in our hand, I will just take the damage. Carol. Okay, we draw. So in this turn, they played who's who, only 3000 power, but KO'd our character. What we can play? We can play double Caro, that's for sure. Uh, do we want to play the, mm, the, the, the Usopp? Probably not. So we'll be 1, 2, 3 dons left, then we play Brook, attach the Dawn. So, yeah, probably that's the play here. So, we play our Brook on play effect. Give more Don cards, yes. 
Okay, so we attach from the on play. Then we play our attackers. Karo. Karo. Use the skill. Uh, to power up. Uh, actually, seven. If we uh, just power up here. Not the most. Um, not the most optimal way, but yeah, just push life. Yep. They take. They triggered a card. Can we see it? Yeah. Draw one card. Activate main. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. One dawn deck and yeah. So, nice draw here. Draw one card and then add one uh, card from the dawn deck. And we have nothing else to do, so we just pass. Let's hope they attack into leader. Why shouldn't they? Okay, king. Very oppressive KO on our brook. And they attack. And uh, even though we can defend here, I will keep the, the guard point for attack from king, for example. And I want to see some uh, more cards here. Okay, we have a chopper, that's good. And that's all. Very nice. Okay, so even though normally we wouldn't really do it, I will play Zoro first. Then I will use skill from Nami. It's not Straw Hat, right? It's Alabasta. Yeah. Okay, so we power up Luffy. Yep. Then again with our rest rested Dawn. Okay, and we can attack, but do we want to? What else do we have? We can play Chopper, we can play also. Probably we just poke here. So we can attach one, two. Go for 5k attack. Sure, they counter, nothing happens. Then we push for. Seven. Okay. Again, trigger card. So they are getting card advantage. And then, just in case, probably we play our chopper. We can only have five characters on board. So that's it. We keep one just in case then wa they want to uh, push some big attack. They play a blocker here. Then Sasaki. And they attack. And we would like not to block, cancel. We would like to counter. And we counter with what point? Okay. In this spot. <laughs> okay, leader. Yep. Pass. And then we have 1k attack, which is not optimal, but I think we just take it. Um, pass. Just to see more cards. Okay, we have Diablo Jumbo, so the game really wants us to, to push the damage. Mm, we are leaving next turn anyway, so it's not a, not a problem. And um, yeah, we can maybe force some block even. So we can go 1, 2, 3, 4. Then buff Zoro. Yeah, we can do it probably. And even push with Diablo. Yeah, so 1, 2, even 3 just to force more cards, why not? Yep, we have a block. Okay, normally they would also use some counter, but whatever. One, two, no. Don't need to overcommit because blockers are gone. They counter now. Okay. And then, do we want to 
play anything this turn? Probably not. Um, what we can do? We can go seven, or we can even hit into into king, just to be on a safe side, maybe. Yeah, because we are not going for the game anyway. So we can just attach seven. Nine and just kill the, the king. Why not? Yep. Bye. And then we just attach to Luffy and put six. Okay, they counter with two cards this time. And we have nothing else to do. We keep the cards in hand. In, and, and you see, that that's what I mentioned. We have done attach to this Zoro, and this Zoro ability is done one the condition to be don't attach uh, gains 1000 power so even though don't only give power in your turn the effect still stays in the opponent's turn it's really important okay 5k attack mm, we can counter here block attack no we just counter yep and pass Okay, they buff the Sasaki. Um, yeah, we can we can just counter here. It's okay because they still can um, use the skill. Okay, they buff here. Five thousand power. Um, if they use skill, then we have problem next turn. Um, yeah, we block here. Sure. And pass. Okay, no blockers. Small creatures on board. Um, here, what we can do? We don't really need to. Don't really need to go for the game, or do we need to go for the game? Because they can push five, five. Um, yeah. We need four attacks, right? Okay, so we cannot do it like that. So what we gonna do? We are going to push three. Yep. Attach one. Going to push four. Okay. Attach one. Push for seven. Don't need to overcommit. And then we can attach one, two, three, four. Push. Okay. And then we can uh, play Jinba. Just to have something on board because he has no uh, counter power. This two Diablo a little bit you know, problematic, but yeah, what can we do? And pass. And let's see now how they want to approach. They play Kaido. Okay, destroy our character and attack with 5000. And unfortunately, we don't have any counter power here. So we are in trouble. And we have a trigger, but trigger doesn't help us here. Sure. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, Kaido attack. If they if they would attack with Kaido first, we would have some trouble. But they attack now to show us that okay, now we can counter. And then we have 10 done again. So, one life. Um, your leader, characters, game plus star. Okay. So we can start. Um, they probably have counter event. But um, regardless, 
we can just go one, two, just push five to get some resources from hand. One, two, some resources again. Yep. Okay, and then we go half half. So it will be. Mm, one, uh, yeah, okay. But only one done. Okay, we put it here. So we have six. We can go three, but then we are left with two. So it's not good attack. So we can even lose here. Okay, let's see. Seven here. Yep. Buff Luffy. They take. And then we put everything into Luffy. And push them okay. to finish the game. And we win. Okay, so they were <laughs> on tutorial, they, they were bluffing with the one done up. Okay, interesting. Now we play with Kaido, so reverse. Battle start, tap and hold, yep, we know it already. Mm, Onigashima in hand. Mm, either slow start. Draw one card, yeah. Okay, let's see, maybe we can withstand it. But, uh, draw one, add one for the ramp. But there is. Ah, there is nothing interesting in hand. But on Uh Yeah, let's redraw. Okay. So maybe they try to show that Mulligan is actually a good thing, I don't know. Okay. We draw, we draw two uh, Onigashima next turn. Um, what do we have here? Nothing, just vanilla, trash. Mm, oh, we can play... Can I see him? Okay, so vanilla as well. Yeah, true. Sure. Go for the... For the biggest value. So let's play vanilla and pass. Next turn we probably play Onigashima. Okay, they buff. Okay, 6000 power. Do we have a 2k? We don't have any 2ks, so we take. Okay. Ulti would be great now to combo with, with uh, Page. Mm, sure, so what do we do? Probably Onigashima first. Use the skill, activate main, you may rest this stage if your leader has Animal Kingdom type. Uh, add one down, so yeah, we just ramp. So next turn will be stronger, and then we go with two attacks. So we will attack for 5k. And 5k again. I think it's not worth to play a 3000 power character here, it's better to use our characters to push. But I'm still disgusted by the previews. Why? Okay, they want to push life, whatever. Uh, 6k again and one down up. Okay, take this one. So we see more cards, sure, and then 5k and 5k we can easy counter here. Sure. Um, pass. Now we would like to kill the, the Robin, that's for sure. Use the skill first. Okay, 7 done to use. So we can use one for ulti and page. Uh, what do we have here? Just vanilla, okay, useless. So we use um, four, three left. Mm, what here? KO, okay, three or less. Okay, so because we have him, we can just go normal swing here for five. They let him go, so now we spam the board. So this is really cool. 
We use whole tree. We would like to use the skill to play page. Yeah, Don minus skills can be activated by returning the Don to the Don deck. You can choose Don cards given to your leader or the rested ones and return them. So it's really cool because Onigashima gives us the rested Don and we can return just one from the rested ones and we still have uh, freedom to play either Sasaki or Vanilla character. Sasaki draw one card, not really needed here. We just play another strong body that can attack without any Don attachment and now we pass the turn. With such board I don't think that we need to be afraid. They buff the leader, sure. Mm, 6k here. Do we want to counter? Do we have any blockers? We can KO here if I remember correctly with who's who. Yep. So we can KO. Yeah, we can take the damage. It's okay. It's okay, no problem. So now we have some spicy moves. We want to KO, that's for sure. So minus 3 at first on Igashima. And yeah, so we KO. Uh, what we can do then? We have 7 dons left. We have Jack on um, add 1. Yeah, it doesn't matter because we have Onigashima. We have Page again. And we have Sasaki for some draw power. But I would say if we have 7, we just push like So it will be um, 3, 7, don, don. Okay. Let's go slowly. 5k. Okay, they take, they play Usopp, sure. We go 5. They counter, sure. Then we go for another 6. They counter with an event, so probably no other counters in hand. Okay, uh, then 2 dons because we already know what we want to play. Swing 7, they probably take. Sure. And then, 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 we play who's who. We would like to use the ability. Return 1 Don, KO. And we have 4 Dons left, and these 4 Dons I would use just for Page to threaten killing him next turn and um do i want to skill here actually i think we can use the skill wait and seven it depends we can do it next turn yeah we can do it next turn it's okay depending how they will defend Okay, they populate the board, only aggressive. Yeah, I mean, this matchup, this matchup is weird with the starter decks. 6k. Um, yeah, we would like to counter 1 and 2, whatever. Just in case, then we have a 5k. Attack. Uh, do we want to take it? What is use of power? Hmm, basically nothing. And he already attached. So yeah, I think this one we can just counter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We win next turn. Normally we should even take it because if they attack the character now we might have a problem. But they go into leader. I mean. That's my problem with tutorials. Normally it's not like the game goes. Normally it would be back and forth clearing characters unless you play some rushers. Okay, easy attacks first. So we go... Uh, we go down here. We go 7. We don't even need to use any ability probably. Yeah, we can just go 7 again. 
just push the life. Yep, doesn't matter at this point. Five. One card, five for another, and then we go 13. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Boom. Then we attach. And let's, let's make big Kaido. Thunderbagua. And boom. 13. Empty life. GG. Yep. I think like yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, we win. So that's it for the tutorial app. You can play as much as you want using two starter decks. I think they are the same as physical product pro product. Starter deck one and starter deck four. Congratulations, you finished your first One Piece card game match. You know the bare minimum to play the game and there is so much more to learn and experience. The full scope of rules you can always check in rules tab on the main website. It's necessary to read and understand all of them before any big tournament. In near future I will release the videos to help you learn game on a deeper level. For now we can learn by playing and check the rules if we have some questions. At the moment we have two possibilities to play. Online using unofficial simulator by Batsu and offline by buying cards or printing proxies. Because I try to keep this guide in ascending budget and so far we spent zero money, we will start with the online method. OP TCG Sim by Batsu is currently the best way to play the game online. Just keep in mind it's unofficial app, so bugs and incorrect rules might happen, especially for the new cards. Let me show you how to set up it for Windows and start playing. First we need to download a client. I suggest version with all English images, most of the time the first link isn't working so try the version backup. Then because we are playing on Windows I will download the Windows package, download anyway, select your location and save. Then unpack your file and inside you can find your client. Start the game by double clicking And here is your starting screen. You can play multiplayer games, edit your decks, even test decks against yourself and set up the settings however you like. You can input your player name here, edit any deck you like here. As you can see we have some pre-constructed ones, even the starter ones that we just tested online. Or you can just make a new one. So let's click deck editor. You can choose your color and then go one by one, add the cards, add the cards you want through the filters here. And once you are ready, you can put the name and save your deck. And then if you want to start playing, just choose multiplayer. You can choose our Western meta with the OP05 expansion or the Eastern one with the OP06 if you want to test the cards in advance. You can also play with friend by creating private lobby, host private game and then providing them the code. If you have code already, you can put it here and join the game with the code. If you want to play against random people, you just go into Western meta, you see some lobbies already, you can press on them and start playing. Here you can choose your deck that let's say you just built, maybe straw hat deck and play against the people or you can host your own public game. Once you join any lobby, once the game starts you can see the board. As always one of the players has to choose the turn order if you want to concede faster, you can concede or just back to the menu. You can uh, mute the sound or the music. It's all up to you. And after your opponent decided uh, if they want to go first or second, you see your hand in the left bottom corner. You can choose to mulligan or keep the hand. 
and then you start playing. Depending on your settings, Dawn and cards can be drawn automatically. To practice, I like to leave them on, that I need to press them, so then when I play the real cards, I don't forget the sequence. And, as you can see, your life, opponent's life, leader, leader, your deck, and the Dawn cards, and your hand. Everything is really easy, you can even see which turn it is. So I think there is no needed extra explanation. If it's too hard, let me know in the comments and maybe I can help you to set up it better or explain some harder questions. If you want to start playing offline without spending any money, you can print proxies on websites like One Piece Card Dev. It's a very simple and straightforward process. Just choose the builder, build your desired deck choosing the cards you want to play. And when you are done, export and choose link print. Print your proxy deck from a PDF. Go to print link. Just wait a second and then you can see how the proxies will be printed. If everything is OK, print. Confirm, adjust the settings and print. Cut out your proxies. If you want your cards to feel more real, you can use any other cards that you have and a simple standard sleeve. Just place your proxy at the front and insert it together with a card into a sleeve. And then you are good to go. Easy to shuffle, easy to play. What to buy? If you want to play sealed product to start playing right away, your only choice is one of 10 starter decks. At the start of the game, Bandai released 4 starter decks to teach new players how to play. So if you can find some of them for retail price, it's a good starting point. However, keep in mind that they are desired to play against each other and are on much lower level than the decks you can build yourself using singles. That being said, if you have no experience with card games and want to take it slow without too much investment, it's a good starting point. In each box you will find play sheet and basic game manual plus ready to play deck that is one leader, 10 Dawn cards and 50 main deck cards. Exception is recently released ultimate deck ST10 if you want to know more details about it, check my unboxing video. If you want to build your own deck, it's always cost efficient to buy single cards on websites like Card Market. Test the deck you want to play in OPTCG Sim or by printing proxies, and if you like it, buy singles needed for it to play. If you are not sure which decks are strong in the current meta, you can always check recent tournament results on websites like Eggman Events and One Piece Top Decks. Starting to play One Piece card game is straightforward and easy. You don't need to spend any money straight away, you can just test the game online or by printing proxies. When you are ready, buy your desired starter deck or build something yourself using singles. If you buy some cards and want to know the best way to protect them for playing or storage, check this video next. Thank you for watching, bye.